This episode of Cooking Something is brought to us by our good friends Omaze. Guess what? If you go to omaze.com slash Matheson, you have the opportunity to win a $2.6 million home in Miami or $1.8 million cash. Go now. We're going to learn more about that say, uh, later in this episode. <laughs> meatballs! Meatballs! We're making the greatest meatball sub you've ever seen in your life. Uh, open your eyes, open your mind, go into the space. Where's the galaxy? Are you on a meatball ship? sailing around the universe. The way that you build this meatball spaceship and take it and go into the galaxy and see what's out there. Guess what's out there? Meatballs, bread, cheese, sauce. Maybe you could put some peppers in it. Elon would know. People make meatballs. We're gonna make meatballs. What do we got? Pork, beef, veal. Can you make it with just beef? Yeah. Can you make it with just pork? Yeah. Can you make it with octopus? You could. Guess what? I learned how to make meatballs from Carol. We all know that. If you've been watching me for years, Carol, mother-in-law, Italian, made a name, Del Duca. Okay? First thing you need for meatballs is a bowl. So I do things differently. I don't know if some people do it differently. The thing that I do though, I do a dry breadcrumb and I do a wet breadcrumb. We're just gonna take day old, we got literally some rye bread here, some light rye. You can use an Italian loaf, whatever you wanna do. And we're just gonna break this up. I got about two cups torn day old bread. You can use rye, Italian loaf, whatever you want. We got one cup of milk. Soak it up, okay? Just leave it in there. There we go. The bread is soaking, okay? Soaking. Veal, beef, pork pound each, perfect. What I like to do first is give this a quick mix. So I'm just using my knuckles and I kind of punch into it and I just move it around. We're doing equal, equal parts. You could have so many different things. It all depends on what you want to do. We've incorporated all three of the meats into one meat. Now we add some ingredients. First, we got the dried pepperoncini, dried chili flakes. We got salt. I'm gonna add a little olive oil. We got dried breadcrumbs. We got uh, three eggs. I'm doing one egg per pound of meat. You know, big old spoons of Parmesan Reggiano. Lots of pep. Fresh cracked pep. We're pepping our fresh cracked pep. Pep, that's enough. 57 fucking cranks. I'm gonna put a spoon of tomato paste in too. Boom, a blue cheese. We're gonna put three cloves, garlic. Just take it, rasp it. You got a little bit left on your thumb, throw it in. So I'm gonna do three raw cloves. We got our wet, milky, day old. And I'm just gonna kinda mash this up. Look at this. And we're gonna put this, put that in there. Final step here. We're gonna take a little bit of parsley. Just a little chippy choppy. Throw that in there. Then I'm just gonna take my spoon. And I'm just gonna kinda mix this all up. And we're just gonna incorporate now. Get rid of the spoon. We're going in with our hand. We're going in with our hand. Oh. <laughs> See that? That's a moray. Okay? That's a moray. So, I'm gonna clean up real quick. We'll see you back here shortly. It's cooking something. Let's take a little bit of a moment to learn about Omaze, our sponsor for this episode, okay? Omaze is a platform online raising funds for nonprofits all around the world. We have partnered up with Omaze to give you a chance to win a 2.6 million Miami Dream House or 1.8 million in cash. Score a sprawling 6,000 square foot sanctuary with seven bedrooms, six bathrooms, and a resort style yard surrounded by lush greenery. Daily pinch me moments are par for this house in Miami's upscale Kendall Ranches neighborhood. The charity you ask? Make a Wish America, the foundation that grants game changing experiences to children with critical illnesses. So spread the optimism. Your support in the Miami Dream House giveaway could help fuel future wishes. To potentially win the $2.6 million house or the $1.8 million cash and support Make-A-Wish America, you can go to the website omaze.com slash Matheson. 
I got an ice cream scoop. I got a little bit of a spray here. Spray your scoop. Now, scoop up a ball. Boom. One meatball. Three meatball. We got nine meatballs on this tray. Take your hands. A little spray. You got a little oil. It'll just help not stick. See? Nothing sticking to the hands. See, we tightened them up a bit, and now I'm gonna put another row. We're gonna get, uh, we're getting 12. We're getting a baker's dozen here. And the baker's dozen 13. Baker's dozen is 12. Awesome, 12. Okay, here we go. My oven is preheated to 475. See you later. Now, let's make a tomato sauce to braise up these meatballs. <laughs> A little olive oil to start. Uh, I want to see enough olive oil to cover the entire bottom of the pot, okay? We're on medium, medium high heat here, okay? We're gonna first put our onion in, okay? We're gonna dice up our onion. Just a, a basic yellow cooking onion is my preference to making tomato sauce. So we're gonna cook our onions first because the onions will take longer than the garlic. I want them to be like a golden, translucent, soft onions. Now, slice up your garlic, slice up your life. You know that meme, something smells good. Garlic, onions, olive oil, something smells good in here. Shut up. It's like, oh, what's that smell? It smells amazing. But then somebody, it, 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 it's so backhanded. It's like, oh, you stink. That guy smells like onions. Or that person that has BO. It's like, no, man. It's a double, it's a, it's a classic double standard. Yeah, everybody knows it smells good. Onions smell good. Once you put your garlic in, you can turn it down right to medium. And there's so much beautiful heat, and that's just gonna infuse in with all that olive oil. So we're getting really nice color, nice light golden, golden color on our onions, our garlic. I'm gonna add a pinch of pepperoncini. I'm gonna take some basil and throw that into the oil, open that up into the oil. Fresh cracked pepper in the oil, all getting roasty toasty. About one tablespoon tomato paste. We wanna cook that out, so we're just gonna stir this and cook up that tomato paste. Open up those nice tomato flavors. Pour in, you know, a liter, a whole can of tomato sauce. You know, a little bit of water. We're just gonna add a little bit at a time. And then once again, if the sauce is a little thin, it will cook down, releasing that, that, that liquid, intensifying the flavors. Sauce is ready, meatballs are ready. This is going swimmingly. Okay, look at this, hot, fresh meatballs. I, the thing I love about baking meatballs, they come out so nice. The bottom is caramelized. It's creating all that beautiful fond right there that you get in a pan. And we got no big mess. Now, while we gently cook our meatballs, I'm gonna show you how to make a really spicy olive relish. I want it like a little bit of a relish. I want there to be the meatball, a meatball sub can just be meatballs and cheese. That's it, it can be. I want a little something. I want a little bit of a something here. So I'm gonna make a little bit of a, a sauce relish, like a salsa verde, but a little more chunky, you know? So I'm gonna just take like five cloves of garlic. Take some choves. We got some capers in there. We got some beautiful pitted olives. Pickled jalapenos. We got some roasted red peppers. I'm just gonna give these a little cut, a little chop up before. Uh, I'm gonna give this a little bit of a pulse. I'm gonna add a little olive oil. Boom, boom. Fresh cracked pap. Even a little salt. Let's go. Our little relish. You know, you could use this on a lot of different things. I didn't want to add the parsley because I want to hand cut this. I want to fold up our parsley, a little bit of stem in there. Never hurt anybody. Rough chopped parsley in. Now, let's give it a stir. A little bit of salt. We're gonna add a little bit of salt. More pepper. I don't have any lemons. I'm gonna just use a little splash of white vinegar. Add a little more olive oil. Boom, 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 boom. Now, oh yeah, here we go. Look at that. This is pretty much like a bomba sauce, but not a bomba sauce, but you know what? It's delicious. Now we literally wait. We sit here, meatballs are about 30 minutes away. Once again, we're just cooking them through. I'm thinking another 30 minutes and these meatballs are ready to go. My son, Matt Carther, 
snack, Arthur. MacArthur loves cheesy garlic bread. We're melting half a pound of butter, and we're just gonna, you know, throw in the garlic. So we just need the garlic and the butter. We don't need much more. Let's slice open our buns here. I have just like some regular, just some soft, you know, six, seven inch uh, buns, okay? So we're just gonna slice into these, open it up, open them up, push them flat. We got a little bit of a brush. We have our, just our barely, just our melted butter, and we're just gonna slop it up. Garlic, butter, mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So that's it. Now, we're gonna toast these in the oven, okay? Okay, golden brown. Don't burn them. I was watching it, seeing a little toasty brown. So our bun, little toasty here. And now we're gonna add our mozzarella to both sides. We got some fresh parm. See, this is how you make a meatball sub. Okay, now we melt this. Here we go. Once again, we don't really want to overcook. We just want melted cheese, right? This is a big day for everybody. Look at this. It's just like that barely melted congealed cheese. It's just like, whoa, whoa. It's really just a really good place to put a nice hot meatball. This is a three meatball sub. Oh, see, look. Look what's happening. We top it with our, our relish. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, cool, everyone's like, how are you gonna eat this thing? Let me show you. You cut it in, look at that. I did it again. And it's not even that messy when you cut it into three. Uh, uh. I can get it. This is the best meatball sub I've truly ever had in my life. It's spongy, but not too spongy. Spicy, garlicky, cheesy. I'm having another one, okay? I worked out today. I did fucking burpees, kettlebell swings, fucking bear claws, Bulgarian split squats. I'm fucking eating this. Are you kidding me? You just watched me make the greatest thing in the entire world. And at the same time, thanks to our sponsors, Omaze, you can go to omaze.com slash Matheson and have a chance to win a $2.6 million house or $1.8 million cash. Thanks for watching, I'm Matt Matheson. This is cooking something.